Hello students and non-students alike, my name's John and I'm here to do the second video vlog. What are the most enjoyable things on the course? I think the thing that I've enjoyed the most is proving to myself that I can still learn things. I've been out of school now for this thing about 10 years and within like day-to-day -day work yeah I've had to learn new processes when I've had to move jobs but that's using things on a daily basis. When it comes to learning a secondary skill such as um, designing computer games it's going to be something that takes time to learn which is great for the course because obviously you can learn in your own time at your own pace and basically proving to myself that I can still learn things with a good rate of retention. And well, another thing that I quite like about the course is you've got the forum. Obviously you don't have to be on the course to, to chat on the forum but it also helps when you're discussing things such as the portfolio project um, and also the course syllabus. Um, just a bit of banter between other students always helps you learn a lot quicker. Um, obviously you can push each other to whatever extremes you wish to do so. Um, even having like friendly competitions, I know the artist groups have, have been doing little casual competitions between the cells which is always good fun. And getting to know people within um, the forum as well, they share the same passion as I do um, within the computer game industry and wanting to get into that industry and also for gaming. Obviously um, we can chat about anything to do with the syllabus, any problems that we're having um, trying to get things to retain in our heads um, also any strategies that we've had in learning and um, any things that we can try and do within the portfolio projects. One thing I do enjoy though is waiting those three days, getting the results back and seeing how well I've done. Um, always a good boost for my ego. Always enjoy uh, opening up the email, seeing how well I've done, um, having to learn over new things as well. Because obviously we don't always get everything 100% correct. Um, so I like to, to re-go over my answers and make sure that I'm happy with what I've learnt and where I need to still work on. So what have you learned so far? Well, I've learnt that making a computer game is actually quite easy. Making a successful computer game is a completely different story. Um, throughout the course syllabus it does state that um, there are different methods of making a successful game Obviously there's not a golden rule that you have to follow all the time and each game is going to be different. Um, but that's what I enjoy as well. Learning different techniques, different stylings and also trying to adapt them to what I like to do as well. Obviously to be individual within the industry it could be a big bonus for myself. Are you doing other things on this course? Well aside from the actual course itself I've been doing a bit of side projects with a couple of people from the forums. Um, to name a couple, it was uh, Kren and Andrew, also known as Vampire Duck, as well as Marty, who's been doing another video diary, which we can see on here. Between us, we've been uh, putting together a game. Originally, it was my concept. Um, I put it to Kren. Me and him bounced a few ideas off each other and got a bit of a, a concept together in full. Um, we put out a bit of a forum post to find out if anyone wants to come and join us and become a programmer and hopefully get our idea down on paper and then into um, an actual machine to someone to play. Uh, Andrew answered the call. Andrew is a great asset to the team. Um, I fully respect him and all of his work and it's going really well. And just to give you a quick preview of what we're working on, here is the title screen. And you're back in the room. Okay, so the game we're doing is Pirates vs Ninjas but on a chessboard. The idea is that both pirates and ninja characters, um, they meet on some sort of battlefield, there's a chessboard there and they think why not let's have a battle here. So they get on the chess pieces and they basically ride around the chessboard throwing ninja stars at each other, you know, shooting flintlocks at the opposing team and basically trying to capture the other person's king. There are a few twists and turns within the game a bit of a different spin on the usual chess format and obviously the internet phenomenon that is pirates versus ninjas who is the best. Well what I've learned from doing this side project is that obviously we don't get to meet up on a face-to-face -face basis unless you count Skype um, but it's very difficult to try and put your idea through to someone if you're only using like a messenger system or um, forums or emails 
Obviously you have to be very descriptive within what you require. We've all been working really hard though on the project and in fact we're about coming up to um, alpha testing stage uh, to which a couple of other people from the forum have, are going to come forward and help us out. We've already got a short list of people that are going to help and hopefully we're going to be getting something to them in a couple of weeks time. So in next month's video diary hopefully I can give you a bit of an update on that and um, also talk to you about uh, portfolio projects within the course itself. And um, thanks for watching.